Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'm Nye, and Mako is once again joining me as we are on the Albed ship. So we were talking about the uh, Albed primers, and that the fact there's one on this ship, and it's right here. This would be the very first one. Uh, it's not. It is. There are only two. Pr there's one primer for every letter in the alphabet. Mm -hmm. All and six total. Only and of these, two of them are missable. This is not one of them. You might think it because you don't actually come back to this this place, but you can. There is there are other ways to get it, and you get a trophy. Okay, now if you notice in the text that you see down there, some of it is blue, and one letter was pink. That's the translated letter. So, gives you kind of an idea of what they're saying. If I remember correctly, now remember it's been years, but if I remember correctly, the um. Uh, the three-letter fragment at the very beginning, we, is actually uh, translate to you. Y-O-U. So, you, something, 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 something. Okay. Oh, almost forgot. Yes, what did you forget? And here comes the sphere grid. I knew we were about to see it. Okay, now comes the really obnoxious tutorial section that I'm not allowed to skip. So, I always found the sphere grid was a very cool way to do level ups. Hmm. Guys, if you want to see the descriptions on how this works, feel free to pause this video at any point and just inch along. Because I know what I'm doing, I'm just skipping it because this is just really long and takes forever. And I'm not allowed to skip it. But yeah, I remember uh, Final Fantasy XII tried to do something like this and just didn't do it well enough. Thirteen did something similar that I don't feel was done particularly well at all. But I always thought this was a very cool way to do things, especially if you knew what you were doing and knew how things worked. You could do this really well. I also love the aesthetic. You know? Like, if you actually look at the sphere grid and the fact that it's, you know, just right. the design of it. The visually. But not only that, you know, there we go. Now it's zooming out. So you can see the grid itself. Not only that, but the fact that you get a lot of choice over who you upgrade and how. Now, the expert grid is a, is the same idea, but it's laid out differently. This is one of my favorite salvage the big things about this game. Mm -hmm. Just this mission. Okay, let's get to and work. you know why. I love this. Jumps up on that pole, turns with a thumbs up, and then dives in. I love that. But yeah, there's there's this just very cool thing about this mission that we're going to learn way, way, way late into the game. But it's just such a cool little Easter egg for people who are paying attention. Also, that, uh... The ruins of the red lights, though, that looks so ominous. That it does. I don't know why. I'm trying to think of what that reminds me of. I think of, like, some enemies from Final Fantasy XI, like, spider-based enemies, something like that. I think it also reminds me of one of the things from, um, Appleseed, if you ever watched the movie. Uh, I've seen it, but I don't remember much of it anymore. It just the, I guess maybe it's the giant walker robot, something like that, but I don't know why, but those remind me of something. I love, <laughs> do you remember this, by the way? What, what Titus does to get this computer working? Uh, nope. Okay, hold on. Let me just save first. Because it's giving me some trouble with, with saving. Wouldn't let me uh, touch that save point. Okay, so, Titus's fix-all solution to getting a computer working that doesn't want to work is to hit it multiple times until something happens. It's displaying like a blue screen of death, and he's like, smack, 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 smack. Oh, hey, it opened. Oh, hey, it works in real life. Not. Yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on yet, Titus? Was that something you, t you attempted? So, yeah. Underwater section. Oh, well, on the upside, you don't have to install Windows. I don't know, it looked like one of those they had going on there. 
There's a blue screen of death going on and everything. We go on right through here. And, oh crap! Fish are chasing us! And they don't look happy. I think it was another one of my favorite things about this game, is that when you do engage an enemy, it's always where you were already fighting. Mm. You know, like if you if you engage the guy in this underwater ruin, it's that room. Well, not necessarily that room, but it's that surroundings that you actually get into. Reminds me of uh, you know, uh, other games like um, you know, uh, Golden Sun did similar. I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, no. I'm trying to remember what she what does she wants me to do. Oh, I've got engaged with her, okay. Quick! Hit the ma ancient machinery! It'll make it work! The sad thing is, it does. <laughs> he smacks it a couple times with his bare hands, and all of a sudden, yup, everything's working! It has also pissed someone off. It's time for more tutorial. Okay, so we've done everything we need to do back there. Smacks major machinery, things started working. And into this room we go to find this ancient nautiloid. Okay, go ahead and steal from this. This is the, uh... This is the boss that always gave me trouble with my old copies. Because you have to steal from this guy. Because the best way to kill him is to, uh... Not, you don't have to steal from him. But there's a special maneuver you have to use on him to do the best damage. And uh, if you don't use that, you have a lot of trouble. But if I try to use a special maneuver, uh, it causes me problems. Let's get her all healed up. There we go. And it goes that way. We're given an idea this is a 3D space. So it's out of attack range, so it can't attack us. Now they're talking about trigger commands. So in certain battles, you can press left on the command window in order to learn the trigger command. So this one is standby, which is we're just going to wait. We get some HP back. We're just waiting patiently. Which was a bad idea because then it comes around and does a crap ton of damage to us. But hey, the game made us do it, so it's okay, right? <laughs> the game forced me... Stop using the tentacle attack on the girl. Come on. Really. This is supposed to be a T-rated game. Well, they know their audience. Well, you've noticed that it hasn't used the tentacle attack on Titus at all, I don't think. Like, just, it never happened. Hmm. Okay, so now it's going to go around again. And I think, if I remember correctly, now we gain the next... Uh, trigger command. Pincer attack. So now Titus decides, hey, look, maybe we should do something about this. And he tells uh, the girl to go to the other side. And now we're going to attack from both sides, which allows us to do more damage. But that particular command is pretty well needed to actually beat this. And uh, I wasn't able to do that. And so problems got caused. Keep on attacking! You can do it! And now this also means, because we're attacking from both sides, if I remember correctly, the Nautiloid is not actually allowed to, uh, Tros is not actually allowed to do the charge attack anymore, because he can't get away. Holy crap, he actually did the tentacle attack on Titus. Hmm. Was that it? Was that the final attack? No. Okay, go ahead and potion up. This is one of those games where you don't get any experience if the if the character is actually knocked out, so we don't want that to happen. Kind of curious if I can actually land an overkill. Which I'd be able to do if this thing actually turned and attacked Titus ever. Well, now you're just talking crazy talk. There it goes. Not quite enough damage for Titus to get his uh, overdrive going, though. And that's the final attack. You always know when it's the final attack, because the camera will zoom in so you can see it just all epic-like. 
And kaboom. No, oh, that was convenient. And now we've learned exactly how specialty commands go. We did level up. Technically, that's what they call it. I mean, you don't level up, you sphere grid up. I forget, do they... I, I know they actually have levels in this. If I remember correctly. I don't remember how they measure those, though. Yeah. Okay, so we have activated the power. So now these spotlight things start shining. And now the underwater ruins are awake. It's that music, man. That music is so good. Okay. And now we just need to go this way. And the game even gives you a hint. Actually, I think in the regular edition, the other guys weren't swimming around. See how they're, like, there's a ton of their albed in the water right now? Yeah. I don't think they were actually in, in the original version. Yeah, hmm. but the game gives you this, this little Easter egg right now that you won't actually understand until much, much later in the game. Which I think is so cool. Look at that pile of rocks over there. Isn't that an interesting pile of rocks? Rockiest pile of rocks I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this cutscene in the original game, though. Then again, it's been forever. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I'm, I, part of me is wondering, like, how long has it been since we've both played? <laughs> Very long time. But I oh. honestly, like, I remember a lot of what we've been doing. That particular cutscene, I don't remember at all. Oh, well. And we're back on the ship. Apparently they wanted to design this ship to make sure it looked like something, something, something airship. I'm wondering if that was important. Are you allowed to go in? Nope, Titus, you're not allowed in. You sleep outside. Yeah, but they saved you. Of course, how else are they going to be a jerk? Of course. They saved you, Titus. You don't get to make any complaints about what's going on. Well, he does, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to listen. Yeah. Hungry. <laughs> He's complaining about being hungry again. And so she comes out and kicks him to get his attention. Here, have food. This should excuse the fact that I kicked you. And Titus is such a savage that he eats directly with his hands. I'm sure there are forks and things right there for him to use. But he's like, nope, food, and then chokes on it. Hey. Or it's or it's spicy, I can't remember. Spicy, yeah. I think he, ch I think he was choking on it. Mm, yep. Could be. Yeah. Yeah, because you eat too fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I just starts cracking up. Yep, I ate too fast because I haven't eaten in like 48 hours. Maybe four hours. There's no way of knowing how long it's been. Hello there. What is your name? Uh-oh, he's hitting on her. Riku? And now we know her name. Riku. Oh, you really do Which is a very similar name to another game I've played recently made by Square Enix. I wonder if there's any reason for that. I can't imagine. I don't think there's any relation, though. I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. And this is where they teach you that we equals you. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. See? Right there. Um... Riku has some of the weirdest body language. We're out bed. Can't you tell? If you ever watch her, she has this really weird bed, body language. I'm a blitzball player. And here comes, you know, Titus being Titus. You poor man. Did you 
<laughs> you must have hit your head. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you guys hit me, remember? <laughs> right. That is a really weird railing. It's as tall as she is. What's it there for? Then again, she is really so tiny. I told her everything there was to tell about Zanarkin. About life there. Like, she's really, really tiny. Sin's attack. And the top of her head goes to his shoulder. Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said she is not that old, so... But then I started... She, I thought she's at least, like, 19. Something like that. Well, she's not young, either. No, that's true, but... But I think I think all the characters... Well, no. I, I'm, I, of, of all the playable characters, I'm fairly certain she's got to be, like, the youngest of the lot. Oh, I think she is, but I don't think anybody's older than... Well, see, that's not true, because some of them... A couple of them are... I think one of them's in her mid-30s, but most of them seem to be in early 20s. Mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. Apparently Sin has toxin! San Arkin doesn't exist. And now we hear plot twist! San Arkin doesn't exist anymore! That was a thousand years ago. What? What do you mean a thousand years ago? <laughs> I saw it happen. I was there! That was like four hours ago! Oh, uh, let's see. I think what we need to do is I think we need to go save because stupid things are about to happen again. Okay, so we'll go save. Thank you, P Sony. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> I don't think I don't know why they give you this option to go save before you talk to her again cuz all you can do is go talk to her again. You play Blitzball? You know? Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, I suppose, you know, just so you don't get caught out. I guess, but nothing happens immediately. That would actually be a big deal. You would be surprised at what people can get. I mean, the next zone is almost entirely non-hostile. I don't get it. Also, it's the weirdest belt harness thing she has around her waist. She promises she'll get you to Luca. You'd rather stay here? Uh -uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait. I'll go tell the others. We're going to Luca. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell yeah, don't tell from anyone you're from Xanarkin, because that could cause a riot. You might upset someone. And we have learned a new name, Yevin. Oh, uh-huh. And off goes the pink girl. And Tius relaxes. Feel free to relax, guys. We're going to have a cutscene. We're going to have a longer cutscene. <laughs> Some kind of holy place? I mean, yeah, I know it's an RPG, yeah, but I mean... Right, I, thought. Since when? <laughs> I love that comment. Zanarkin, it's a holy place? Since yeah. when? Sin? I, I, I just love the sarcasm there. It's just like, Zanarkin is... That I can go back in a day or from the two. way he comments, it almost sounds like Zanarkin is Moss Eisley. Into the future? You know? No way. There's no possible way. We're a thousand years in the future. Whoa. So he kicks the... See, this is all your fault, Titus. If you didn't kick that crate, this wouldn't be happening to you. Uh-oh. It's a thing. Uh oh, it's Sin! It's here! Kill it, kill it! I don't know if this is the actual translation, I'm, I'm guessing. And. It's coming right for him. Just blast him right off the ship. You! Specifically, screw you! It doesn't hurt anybody else, it's specifically Titus. Kill this dude! And Titus goes away. And he died. The end. Did you enjoy your $60 game? If so, click here now. See, look! It even gives you a save point right here. Save current game? 
Why, yes, I think I shall. Okay, guys. Well, I think we should leave it here because that's a good time to stop is when you hit a save point. So we'll see you guys soon and see what goes on. We'll see you later.